Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and I'm back with some more Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy news. Nothing massive, but something pretty cool for people that are really fans of the old Crash Bandicoot box art. They have decided, Vicarious Visions that is, have decided to release their own versions of the Crash 1 and 2 box. Now, we've got the Crash 1 and 2 box, or, you know, artwork, but we don't have 3 yet. Uh, the assumption would be that the next day would be Crash 3, like tomorrow. However, judging by how very little they've shown from Crash 3, I feel like their first reveal of it isn't going to be the box art. So, the image again, it was like on Twitter, social media, Facebook, absolutely massive. Like, I'm zooming into this pretty hardcore and it is like really really cool I like I, I got rid of the black and all that but yeah it's basically it's super detailed and this is now known as the highest official render of the Crash Bandicoot logo that's like a real random fanboy nerdy thing to say but if you actually look at it they've redesigned it I actually love this logo it's fantastic it's authentic to the original kind of I actually like the wood color just as much as the original if more so it's very very cool very very nice. Um, I'll go back to them in a second. I'll, I'll, I want to show off Crash 2 first as well. Here's Crash 2. I think it looks really cool. Again, now if you actually look at the original artwork, there's something that's sort of more washed out about this look. And but I think that was sort of an aesthetic choice. Now I know a lot of people sort of complained about the washed out feeling and stuff like that. A lot of these complaints are actually should be directed towards YouTube's compression algorithm, believe it or not where it sort of lowers the quality, especially when I'm downloading from Facebook or Twitter. But anyway, this sort of fits the sort of vibe they're going for in this. I think it's really cool. It actually fits Crash's color. It's more of a natural color. Obviously, in-game, he looks tremendous. Like, in-game, he's not like, you know, brown. He's not sort of sat desaturated. He's very, very saturated in the game, as he should be. But in this sort of concept art, they're sort of going for a different vibe. It's very it's very cool though, like I like the fact that, you know, it's exactly, it's basically exactly the same. One thing I'm sort of wondering why is why they actually didn't choose, they chose to keep like a uniform color at the bottom there with all of the uh, like artwork, architecture with uh, around Cortex's head. And some people even complained about Cortex being too yellow in the original games. Well, in this artwork, he's actually less yellow than the original. I'll put some comparison shots up in a sec. Anyway, just briefly as well, this is now the 100% official box art. Like, 100% confirmed, no changes will be made, this is going to be it. This is what it's going to be shipped as, and let me tell you, I love it. I'm just so glad. I know we've talked about it before, but I love the fact that it's there. And I also love this little detail here of uh, Aku Aku on the side there over Crash's Mask. I think that's a really cool thing. Just a little bonus, you know, like a lot of games that just sort of list the game. Like I know in Japan, a lot of the Japanese Crash and Spyro and all that sort of stuff, all, actually not Spyro, but the Japanese games, you'll see like a lot of really cool artwork, like custom sort of artwork on the side, but on the side sort of bars. And I think that's a really, really cool idea something simple it's simple you know like it's not like it takes that much effort it kind of breaks the monotony of you know every single game looking the same on, on the site you know and just as a quick reminder my new ep is now available on bandcamp so check it out at crystalvision.bandcamp.com i'm sure you'll enjoy it anyway the next thing i want to show is a side-by-side -side comparison now there are actually two versions of the cover of crash bandicoot much like in the japanese version there's more than one this is the sort of rip through the wall version rip through the paper version and as you can see, uh, the picture that I have is a little bit saturated. It's not quite that that much, but look, you can see that there's like more lighting on the original. I actually, one thing I do prefer is the fact that you can see all of the really cool mushrooms and stuff like that. But look, I mean, you can't, the classics, the classics can't be beaten in terms of just sheer nostalgia. But you know what, maybe in 20 years, people will look back at the Insane Trilogy and be like, well, well, you know, isn't that like the true nostalgic thing? And then we have the Crash 2 cover, which again, see as you can see, the original one is more, there's like sort of less lighting, quote unquote, on it. It's more of a, a bit of a cool concept picture. Again, I prefer the original one because one, I just think, you know, the colors are better, like they are better than the newer one, but the newer one's going for a different art style. It's going kind of going for that, you know, that big promo art we saw, uh, you know, about a week ago, you know, with the Pura and all that. It's going for that sort of style. It's more realistic. And, but again, the game is going to do the speaking. So it's not like, this isn't like something to worry about or anything like that. Just, yeah, just really cool. I'm glad they did it. They didn't have to do this, you know, they didn't have to do it at all. But I think that it's a nice little token, I guess. Um, I think that there's, you know, there's the PAL version. The thing with Crash Bandicoot Warped, and this is where the speculation shall run rampant, is what version of the cover are they going to use? Are they going to use this one, the PAL version, or are they going to use the NTSC one? My guess is that they'll use NTSC just because of, you know, America bias, USA bias, America. 
bias, dare I say. Um, and then anyway, now we have just some brief little merchandise related news. Unfortunately for any Australians, I'm going to cater you to first real quick. We're basically getting nothing. We are getting nothing right now. I went into EB Games. I asked them, hey, are you there, is there going to be any, any uh, crash, you know, like pre-order bonus stuff? Right now, there's nothing like about six weeks out. So hopefully there is. But if you're in America, if you're in the UK, I think even if you're in France, certain key rings and stuff like that, you will get some pretty cool merch. So a company by the name of Numskull is actually doing some official Crash Bandicoot merchandise. Now, let me tell you, I would love to take an endorsement from these guys, but no, this is me just actually showing off some of the cool products I've got. It's absolutely amazing. We've got some Aku Aku mugs. I'm gonna go through everything they have actually so far. An Aku Aku keychain, really cool Aku Aku hat, really quite minimalistic, I like it. An Aku Aku shirt, which looks great. An Aku Aku uh, wallet, which I would definitely consider getting. Cortex shirt, the box there called minimalism sort of thing, candles, believe it or not, a mug, a crash mug box, crash co uh, cortex and uh, uka uka stuff, and yeah, crash and aka aka, pretty cool minimalist sort of design, a crash purse, ladies, get on it. We've got a snapback sort of hat, a mug, sort of a metallic looking mug, a TNT sort of, uh, what is it, like glass, uh, you know, cup, another wallet, this is more pictures from the wallet, and another one, and the other wallet has the same insides as well, a nitro mug, I don't know why, why I was getting mixed up with the word mug, an Insanity Beach shirt, there's some pins here, you can get like a more into collection, there are the pins as well, they sort of almost look like keychains, but that looks like the New Japan shirt, but in crash mode, then we've got Uka Uka, and finally, Wampa Juice. I don't, I, I guess, yeah, I don't know, we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, pretty damn cool, if I, do, if I do say so myself. I would consider getting at least some of those. My guess is, I haven't actually checked the prices yet, they're probably not going to be cheap, but yeah. And the other cool thing, this is like really minor, but you'll notice that uh, this was like posted on the Amazon store, basically it's like where you can buy some of this stuff if you don't want to get it on Numskull. Uh, is that they've actually used, this is the, they've got the full Twin Sanity model, quote unquote, like the famous model that they use from Twin Sanity uh, that has been, you know, re crashified. Uh, I know people will take that as a hint and stuff like that, but even if it isn't, which I don't really think it is, it's more just a homage, and I think it looks fantastic. Anyway, guys, let's finish off this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you think about all these new crash stuff, all these designs. Hopefully, in the next few days, we'll get some more footage. E3 is very, very close now. you got to think about that. I mean, it's, it's insane. Like, it, the game is basically, like, um, just over a month away pretty damn exciting all right guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it let me know what you think be sure to check out my ep on bandcamp and uh yeah keep track keep keep on the lookout for more of my stuff very soon and yeah it's gonna be a good time thank you guys mm -hmm.